to begin, please make sure that you have a sharpened pencil or pen and a highlighter. Key vocabulary. Let's start at the bottom. A chariot. A two-wheeled vehicle pulled by a horse. A two-wheeled vehicle pulled by a horse. Ziggurat. An ancient Mesopotamian temple tower. They're kind of like an early version of a pyramid. Arch, an upside down U or V shaped structure that supports the weight. Think about a doorway. And before they had all the metal, they had to figure out a way to hold things up. Polytheism, the belief in many gods. Poly means many, theum means belief. Polytheism, belief in many gods. Mesopotamia, the land between two rivers. The Tigris and the Euphrates were these two rivers. Please make a note of that. Mesopotamia, as we've already learned, meso means middle, potamia, rivers, the land between two rivers. Fertile Crescent, an area of rich soil in Mesopotamia, surrounded by the dry areas. The Fertile Crescent is the beginning of where all life starts. Well, at least all of the civilizations start. And it's because of the rich soil. Now, what do you think that rich soil is good for? Please write in agriculture. A-R-G-I-C-U-L-T-U-R-E. City-state. An early city that was similar to a small independent country. It had its own laws. Many of the city-states of Mesopotamia were very independent, and we're going to learn more about them later on. It also had its own government. Arid. You should have learned that word in geography, but it means a dry area that lacks water. Silt, a thick bed of mud, and it's excellent for growing crops. Living near the river, there was a lot of silt left behind when the, during the dry seasons, and that's where they planted their crops. Irrigation. It's a method of bringing water to a field from another place to water crops. The Sumerians were some of the best and the original irrigators of their land, and that's why they were so successful. Levy, a wall of earth built to prevent a river from flooding its banks. Working together, the Sumerians created levees that allowed for irrigation to take place. Cuneiform, it's the Sumerian written language, and it's made up of wedge-shaped markings. The Sumerian cuneiform was the first known written language, which means, of course, that they are the ones who start history, the written word. I think some of you write in cuneiform because it's difficult for me to read it. Scribes, 
as we become writers, we need writer. We need people to keep records, people who are specialists. And a scribe is a record keeper or a writer. Please take a moment and highlight all of your new vocab words. Arch, polytheism, Mesopotamia, fertile crescent, city-state, arid, silt, irrigation, levy, cuneiform, scribes, chariots, and ziggurats. And please feel free to pause at this point if you need to finish writing. But we're going to move on. Mesopotamia Geographic Introduction. It is located mostly in present-day Iraq, but also in Iran and Turkey. Now the area of Mesopotamia is a river valley. It's located between these two major rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates, and it is ideal. It's the perfect place for the growth of civilizations. Now, you're going to notice that many river valleys are where the first civilizations arose all over the world. Not just here, but also in China and in India. Now, what this river valley creates are good farming conditions. The rivers provided fresh fish, fresh water, and is an easy way to travel and trade. A simple boat, a raft, and you can pedal and you can float down the river. You can trade your, excuse me, you can trade new things. And if you need to go upstream, you simply just paddle your way back up. Piece of cake. Now, why are these important? Please take a moment and write in why these are important. Good farming conditions and fresh water. Also at this point, I'd like you to draw in a smiley face just to make sure that you're listening. Now, it was known as the Fertile Crescent because despite the fact that the region surrounding it was very arid, that's Mesopotamia, this crescent-shaped area has very rich soil. How do we know this? Well, every year the valleys are flooded by rain and snow from the mountains. And the example is the Zagros Mountains, which are to the north. And we'll show you those on a map later on. And when they flood and then recede, it leaves behind silt. Please take a moment and highlight located present-day Iraq, Iran, and Turkey. River Valley, two major rivers, Tigris, Euphrates, ideal growth of civilizations. Good farming conditions, fresh fish, water, easy way, trade and travel. Please also highlight the Zagros Mountains and crescent-shaped area and fertile crescent. Thank you for listening. I would suggest that you go back, listen to it again, and read through it one time. The end.